Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm just going to show you how I created this hairstyle. I had no idea what I was doing, but I think it turned out quite nice. This is my first hair tutorial with my locks and I'm so happy with what I've done. So I did this hairstyle because we are going away and I wanted a hairstyle that would withstand the beach days should i say so when we go in the water i do want to be able to get my hair wet but then i don't want to be worried about my retwist unraveling so i wanted an updo um so that when i do go in the water and when i come out when my hair dries it dries in that retwisted state so therefore my retwist lasts longer and i'm still able to enjoy myself at the beach so I decided to do this updo. I wasn't sure what I was going for, but I really wanted a goddess braid going around and also some shells, cause you know, shells make every hairstyle pop. And this is what I came up with. Anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling. Enjoy the tutorial and I'll see you guys at the end. Yo, my forehead looks massive. Is it just me or does my forehead look massive? Like for real. Again, another poll is coming at you guys. All right, so I don't actually know what i'm doing with my hair i have something in mind but i'm pretty much just gonna go with the flow and um see what comes of it love me some shells i feel like shell just adds so much more to a hairstyle especially with locks as well so i'm gonna add a few shells on each side of my face to frame my face i feel like it takes away from my big forehead as well uh, I feel like putting one here, I always put one on either side like this, I just love it. But I feel like I'm going to add another one at like this one, so I have like sort of two hanging here, which I think will look cute. And then I'm going to have one here and uh, maybe this one hanging down. Oh. When I do the shells, I use a bobby pin, so I put a bobby pin in through my hair. So it's, I don't know if you can see that. So it's on my hair like this. And I put the bobby pin through the shell, the shell hole, if it can fit. It's usually quite tight, but I find just this way a lot easier compared to trying to fit my lock through the shell by hand. It just, there we are. And it's on. So it's gonna twist it around. I like to twist the end of my hair around the lock to secure the shell. I don't really like using elastic bands just because of how it looks when I do the elastic band. It looks so much more natural when you just have it like this instead of having a big elastic band in between. Okay. That's that done. Okay, so let me start doing this cornrow. So I wanna do basically a goddess sort of hairstyle. So um, I'll have one cornrow going around my head there. And I have one cornrow going around my head, around the back like that. Let's see if I can actually do that with the length of my locks. Okay, I don't know how that looks. I hope it looks decent, but I've tried to do a corner right there. All right, hopefully that will say. I have missed a few locks at the back because they just weren't, oh, they could have fit. Maybe I'll, I'll slip them in with a bobby pin later. Okay, that's good. Well, I'm gonna just um, use a mirror to see the back of it. And... It looks all right. Let's get this in focus. My daughter just messed up the bed. I spent my time making it look all pretty for this video and she just went and messed it up. Okay, so, there. That's kind of cute still. This one, this lock just likes to do what it does and just stick up, but okay. I'll decide at the end if I'm just gonna leave these free at the back down or put them up in the lock. I think I'm gonna put them up in the lock. 
because the whole point of this hairstyle is so that I can, you know, go in the sea with it and not worry too much about my retwist unraveling. Okay, so I think this one, this side is going to be harder because there's so much more hair. Or it might be easier because I have so much more. Okay. Uh, okay, and I have these three at the back. Let me just see how that looks in the mirror. Don't know. The only thing I don't like is that they don't meet exactly in the middle. So let me just show you. This one is sort of comes higher and this one comes lower. And I don't like that. So I'm going to make them meet um, in the middle. Not in the middle, but I'm going to make them leap. So I'm going to make them meet at the same level and then I'm also going to tuck these three locks in where I can. Okay. So I fixed the cornrows so that they meet in the middle. Now I'm just going to take these three locks and just like tuck them in where I can. Okay, I really like it. So now I'm going to add this rope to the corner rows and just wrap it round to go all the way around. And I think that will give it the extra pop that it needs along with the shells and I'll be all done. Okay, so I'm all done. I'm so happy with the results. Completely in love. I'm still not sure if like the silver rope is a bit too much or if it's okay. Um, let me know in the poll up here. But I really do like it. That's another hairstyle that I can say that I've done and you know, get in there, get in there, get in there. My looks are growing. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're gonna try out this hairstyle, let me know. If you have any more hairstyles that you'd like me to try out and you think is really, really cute, then message me on Instagram, let me know. I do hope this holds up in the sea while we're on holiday. I will be, when if we do go to the beach, then I will be like just twisting these and pinning them down because these ones are just left loose out. They're not really secured or anything. So I hope that Twisting them and then pinning them down with a bobby pin will help keep them in place when they get wet and that so that when they dry again they can dry in the retwisted state. So yeah, hope you guys liked.